So a lot of golfers that I coach do originally say, I want to come back to the golf ball the way I started, but that is absolutely not the case. Oh my God, go in the hole. Get in. Oh, oh, that was sensational. There's never been a more important time to hit the ball perfectly, especially when you're hitting into a par three like this one at the Elves Club, full of sand literally everywhere. This is a desert links course out here in Dubai. It's an incredible golf course. But when you've got golf courses like this, massive greens, huge bunkers, impact is key. As the video is on a par three, we are gonna be talking about whether you need a tee or you just hit it straight off the deck. It's a question I get asked a lot, so I will answer it later in the video. But the premise of this video is to help you hit the golf ball better. What are the three keys that you need to hit a good golf shot? We need the body weight moving towards the lead side. Ideally, we wanna try and get the hands ever so slightly ahead of the golf ball. And in terms of the low point, we want the low point to be just after the golf ball, not at the golf ball, but just after. So we're hitting the golf ball on the way down. So that gives us an angle of attack that is descending into the ball. Angle of attack is key for really good ball striking. So for example, if you've got a seven iron down to wedge, we're gonna keep, keep the ball position in the center. Too far forward, it's gonna encourage the angle of attack to be working up. Whereas we want to make sure that we're working down too far back and we're gonna have an angle of attack that's too steep. So depending on your actual golf swing, you've got to find the perfect ball position. Now, looking at an impact position on the hole, my question to you is, do you know what an impact position looks like? A lot of golfers that I coach don't actually know what they're trying to do to get the perfect impact position. So demonstrating impact position, what we're gonna do, I'm gonna move from setup into impact. If you can rehearse this drill, it's a great way of understanding that setup and impact is different. Because a lot of golfers that I coach do originally say, I want to come back to the golf ball the way I started, but that is absolutely not the case. So if I was to take my setup here, body weight is about 50-50, ball positions in the center. The shaft of the club here is just ever so slightly on top of the golf ball or slightly ahead of the golf ball. But when I come into impact, what I want to try and get into the position of now is my lower body rotated out towards the target, my weight ever so slightly favoring my lead side. So let's say it's about 60-40 as you're coming into impact. My trail knee, as you can see, has moved in towards the target and my hands have moved towards my lead knee as well. So ideally the hands would be on the inside of the lead thigh, weights on the left, hips have turned. If anything, the shoulders will be pointing pretty much straight down the target line. So that's impact. And I often get golfers just kind of literally stand there, go set up, impact, set up, impact. And when you're pushing the handle, you're pushing the club down towards the lead side. I'm pushing that club down towards my lead knee. I'm pushing my weight, my pressure down into my lead foot and I'm pushing my trail knee down towards my lead foot as well. So everything is moving in the direction of the target with that rotation. So let's give that a go. So I would stand over a golf ball. And if you've seen videos in the past where I actually do that as a bit of a routine, I would often set up and I sometimes kind of just kind of go like that. And I'm just trying to get a bit of a feel for trying to get my body more advanced towards the target in that rotation. Not the most balanced finish position, but it's a beautiful impact, really good strike, heart of the green, exactly where I want this golf ball, particularly on a hole like this. Now, at the start of the video, I also mentioned whether you use a tee or not. Absolutely 100% always use a tee. A tee is there to help you. So if you've been given the opportunity to have a little bit of help on what is a bloody difficult game of golf, always use a tee. A lot of players are telling me that they hit the ball worse off a tee. I don't buy it, but it can be a little bit of a mental block. I would definitely urge you to get on the range and just practice hitting off a tee as well, because these par threes, if we can hit the green, they've got obviously a very good chance of making par. Now, I've already spoken a little bit there about the impact position of where the lower body needs to be, but now we're gonna be talking about how the hands get to the perfect position at impact as well. 
Creating the correct impact position with your hands is really, really key. We see a lot of players kind of early release the golf club. When you come into the golf ball, we see this. So even if you've got your lower body actively moving towards the lead side, you've got your hips rotating, which is all well and good. It's exactly what we're looking for, but this, the club releases a little bit too soon. I would often kind of sometimes have to look at the golfer's golf swing on the hole and try and work back a little bit to the cause of that. Sometimes there is a, there's a different cause, but what you could actively try to do here is a really good drill, it's very simple. Trail hand, turn your palm to the ground and your fingers away from the target like so. And what you're gonna try and do is you, you're gonna just turn your body and rotate up to the top. And what I try and do here is rotate and keep my trail elbow in front of my chest and almost as if you're carrying a tray of drinks. You get to the top of the backswing, the palms point into the sky, and really what you want to try and feel now is as you start to move back down, you're, you're moving your lower body towards the target like we just spoke about at the start of the video, and you're allowing this trail hand to point down towards where the golf ball would be. That would give us that position as a coming into impact. So that gives us that shaft lean that we're looking for. A lot of players kind of start to release that right hand too soon. And if I release my right hand too soon, the club now becomes an extension of my lead arm, which is not what I want. So we're gonna try and feel that we're holding that positioning with the trail wrist for as long as possible. And just start really focusing on bringing your core down. So get your pressure moving into your left side, your, your lead side, bring the core down into your lead side and then rotate. And the more you use your body during the golf swing, the longer you're gonna be able to hold these angles. It's not about just trying to think about holding an angle, because that's almost impossible. The reason the angle releases is possibly because of another fall, as I've already mentioned. But what you can start to try and feel is as you're bringing that palm up to the sky at the, at the top of the backswing, you're pressurizing into the lead side, and the more you're turning from your chest, the more you're turning from your lower body as well, by keeping, by keeping the right hand back and keeping that palm pointing to the ground, we get more chance of having shaftly. Now, you could also look at the positioning of your lead hand, because if this release is too soon, then this lead wrist will often go in that direction. So it will often flick, we'll call it, not great terminology, but oof, that's a good one to think about. It'll often flick in that direction. So you could do this from the opposite way. You get your lead hand and you put the back of your lead hand to the ground you swing up to the top, you see how I've got the back of my lead hand to the sky. I'm gonna drive my lower body towards a target. I'm gonna turn my core, I'm gonna turn my chest down to the ground as I rotate to the target. And I keep the back of my hand to the ground on the way through. Really good dry drills that you can do at home. Really, really simple. Right, so let's put that feeling into a golf shot. So I've got the ball teed up. I've got a flag waiting for me. I'm gonna to go to the top of the back, so I'm gonna feel like my trail wrist there is, my palm is pointing to the sky, and I'm gonna pressure into my lead side as I turn, and that's my impact position that I spoke about at the very start of the video, getting into that really nice, positive position, great weight distribution, shaft lean, club descending down into the golf ball. And what you see often with good players, if you want to come in a little bit closer, what you'll see often with the good players is that the tee is at the back of a divot. So that's what, this is, this is the low point of a golf swing. The golf club is still on its way down into the golf ball. It hits and it continues down into the ground. That's where we get the divot. You very rarely see the divot underneath the golf, where the golf ball was, okay? And you certainly do not want to see the divot this side of the golf ball, because I'm pretty sure you've had a disaster if that's the case. So we're gonna make sure the divot is always just to the side of the golf ball. Let's see if I can hit three really nice shots in a row. So I'm gonna get my rehearsal of my impact. And when I push that handle down towards the lead side as I turn my body, and then I'm gonna release the shot. That needs to draw about an inch to go in. Maybe it doesn't, it's on the middle of the green. Guys, thanks very much for watching. Hope you enjoyed the video. Hit the like, hit the subscribe. Remember, if you want some golf lessons with me, drop me a DM on the Skillist app and I'll be ready and waiting.